Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, of course, this world continues uh, to baffle itself with its embracing of evil, demonic symbols, etc. And of course, I guess uh, we should uh, thank uh, the religions for this, who after uh, 4,000 years uh, of religion, uh, from 4,000 Judaism, 2,000... Um, Christianity, uh, 4,000 Buddhism, 1,500 Islam, they've given us nothing but evil, sick deviates to be part of these priesthood. And of course, have achieved absolutely nothing. Religion has done nothing. So there's a great movement of anti-religion. The fact is, is, well, let's go to the bad guys that these religions talk about. And this is how Satanism, Luciferianism, uh, Prometheism, all these things which are basically left-hand path uh, negative belief systems uh, going against because uh, of corruption with the good churches, the good belief systems. People have rejected the good to go to the bad when you should be cleaning out uh, the corruption and preserving the good. One of these, of course, is the use of the American flag on military uniforms. Now, all the military uniforms have backward flags on them. Uh, it's a very interesting revelation, apparently, that started in the military around the 1980s, ironically, or could be very much part of, the fact of having in the military a high-ranking Satanist, uh, Colonel Aquino, the famous um, special Forces Intelligence Officer who was eventually released from the military uh, on all sorts of uh, sub, uh, uh, charges where they decided not to prosecute him but uh, uh, released him from the military. Uh, he is the head of the Temple of Set and uh, has been linked to all sorts of negative and problematic practices. But what's very interesting is that while he was in the military, he had one of the highest ranking uh, clearances available, even working at NORAD, and talks about this on certain interviews as how he was stationed there. Uh, so it's very interesting uh, that uh, a person who starts a satanic church uh, would reach the rank of a colonel, one step under a general, and... Um, get very high rankings because that doesn't mean that they are instable or kind of goofy so let's give them all our secrets <laughs> regardless of what you think of satanism he was also the person that made sure that satanism became a uh, a valid and notified um, religion within the u.s militaries it was accepted in part of their military uh, religious handbook of satanism well, isn't that interesting as well that this would be? But it doesn't really surprise me considering the military and its really evil motives and the um, general failure and the horribly corruptness that the military is. Um, and it's unfortunate that the average person who goes in there because they have no choice trying to survive in life, maybe get a little training, is caught up with all this evil procedures. So what they've done is actually use the backward flag. Now, some people said this started in 1980. It's hard to know. But if you look at old movies and so forth uh, in the 50s and so forth and movies uh, made about World War II, and even a lot of Vietnam, you don't see the backwards flag. Now, it's on the right arm where the actual stars um, of the uniform are facing forward when the stars should be facing backwards, uh, I should say facing to, towards the back, not backwards. What they've done is flip that over. And of course, no one really understands the reason for this. Um, when certain people were quizzed in the military, they say, well, one, you know, one for one side and one for the other. Well, that doesn't make much sense. And of course, if you see the American flag on uh, Boy Scout uniforms or other uniforms in general, uh, the only people really using the backward flag and who are permitted to is the military. Uh, this is very interesting, and as I said, it um, has been stated, the reason that it is like that is that when you are moving forward as a military, which the American military really never has, have they won a war since 1776? And they didn't really win that war either. The British came back and have attacked us for a hundred years after that, basically. 
uh, uh, harassing America from Canada and around the world ever since uh, they were quasi kicked out and of course invaded the United States in 1812 and actually burnt the White House. So um, uh, who do we thank for that? Well, basically, apparently it was the pirates in New Orleans that eventually kicked out the British, but or at least was fighting them at a decent level. Um, but that's another issue. But the bottom line is, is that the flag has this. And this is something that is now... Um, people say since 1980, but I haven't seen that. It seems like all the flags in the last five years have been backward, particularly those going to the Middle East. Um, now, if some cockeyed little freakoid uh, military officer has okayed this as showing an aggressive military moving forward, because what you do, let's say you're holding the flag and you are now moving ahead. Now, well, the flag positions itself, of course, uh, because of the, um, uh, is that the actual reversing of how it's being held on the pole, because the now the uh, stars are in the forward position because you are walking with the flag. Now, uh, this can be interpreted in a lot of ways. It's kind of a, I'm glad the military had millions to spend on new flag packages, <laughs> you know, money that came out of the budget for medicine and poor people and hospitals, so we can give them all their little goofball satanic flags so they can feel at home. So the whole idea is that uh, this kind of idiocy is just part of this whole campaign. Of course, we know that uh, many stars, particularly in the military and uh, law enforcement, have been inverted pentagrams. They use upside-down pentagrams, which, again, shows you kind of an ignorance of uh, this kind of symbolism. Um, so this has to be looked at as well. But this backwards flag I find very disturbing and doesn't look right. Nobody has worn these kind of patches on their uniforms in the history of the United States military until now or in recent years, maybe five, six years, who knows, when this was actually becomes commonplace. I mean, you now see it on every single uniform, and I note it when you see any kind of new uniforms out there. So this is what they're doing because of some warped belief system. But I believe this thing about moving forward with the U.S military never really has done is just bogus. It's a sign of their uh, control, murder, and embracing of Satanism, whether they fully understand it or not. And I find it hard to believe, but not overly surprising, that the ignoramus babies that are in the military that really have never achieved anything uh, would also spend their time on such idiot issues as this instead of going out there and doing their job. Now, the bottom line is, is I've never seen a flag flying in this position. So if you put a flag up on a flagpole, it's the stars that are next to the pole. So when the wind is blowing or in a movement of sorts, and of course, if you were walking um, uh, in general, um, your, the uh, way that the flag would be actually moving out, depending on the, of the winds, of course, would not be in that backward motion. But they've never put a flag up like that. You'll never see a flag ever made which attaches to the pole by where the stripes are. It always attaches where the stars are. So this makes the whole uh, attitude towards the flag on a uniform not only imbecilic, childish, and downright evil, it's stupid. If you're going to do that, then change all the flags to represent every time it blows in the wind, no matter where it's at, that the actual stars are pushing out then in the backward way because, after all, you're always moving ahead. Yeah, fighting those guys with sandals and robes on that don't even have chairs, flush toilets, or anything else, of course, that the U.S. military cannot handle anywhere in the world, and that they're afraid to confront, as what happened in the uh, recent Iranian, um, uh, not Ira Iraqi embassy, which was attacked, and they did nothing of fear that the local people are mad. 
So we all know what you're doing. We all know what's going on. And your hero, Michael Aquino, who you gave the highest clearance possible to, is your buddy. And we know you all believe in that. And we know where the military really comes from. They're there to murder and control mostly their own citizens. And thanks for letting us know because you told us the way you wear your patches. Until next time.